Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 4th of 2022 well, it is titled M13, the Great Globular Cluster in Hercules. So what do we see here? Well, here is an example of a star cluster, and we know two different types of star clusters. And they are the open star clusters, which are relatively young and have a fewer number of stars spread out over a little bit larger area and that don't last for a very long time that slowly spread out into space over hundreds of millions of years. We also see globular star clusters, which is what we are looking at here. These are much older and they have more stars tightly packed together and the stars are bound together gravitationally. So they do remain together for their entire lives. All the stars that we see here were formed together and remain together for their entire lifetime. Globular clusters are some of the very oldest parts of our galaxy, sometimes dating 12 billion years old as much at least as much as that. And they are sort of the uh, original parts of our galaxy left over from its formation. So why do we want to study them? Well, they give us a hint into what our galaxy was like long ago. And these clusters have had little change since they originally formed. The only thing that changes in them is that stars go through their lives. So for some of the older star clusters, the ones that are 10 or more billion years old, even the stars like our sun that formed that long ago have now gone through their lives and are gone. So we get to see a little bit of way of studying stellar evolution and we can use these clusters as ways of studying stellar evolution and helping to model what happens to stars over their lives and how our galaxy was was formed. When we look at the distribution of these uh, clusters around our galaxy, we find it is a spherical distribution. So our galaxy is a flat disk. These clusters form around a great spherical halo, telling us that our galaxy had a different history and was much more spread out in the distant past. So it may have been a much, uh, much different galaxy that was spread out in th more in three dimensions, more significantly, more of a spherical distribution when these globular clusters formed. And then when the galaxy condensed down and collapsed down into the disk we see today, the clusters were left behind, giving us that insight into what our galaxy looked like long ago. So studying some of these very old clusters gives us insight not only into stellar evolution, but into the origin and early history of our galaxy as well. So that was our picture of the day for August 4th of 2022. It was titled M13, the Great Globular Cluster in Hercules. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a beautiful triffid. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.